Hello everyone and welcome back to my tutorial. And today we will continue our tutorial about the curtain wall. So we will see today some advanced things uh, what you can create um, by using um, curtain wall. And what one more type we have in uh, Revit uh, of the curtain wall. So let's get started. Before we will continue, I highly recommend you check the previous video about the curtain wall. If you don't know where is it, you will find the link to the previous video about the curtain wall in the uh, link below this video. Uh, who those who already uh, saw this video or know everything about the curtain wall, we will continue right now. So uh, if you remember last time I created uh, like this few um, curtain wall here. And today we will uh, change uh, something. Uh, for example, we will start from the our mullion. Now I'm using the top and as you can see when I'm listing, uh, when I'm listed the top, uh, when I'm using I'm in the top, uh, we listed some families inside our curtain wall. But I cannot the, uh, switch to the only uh, one um, grid line. Why? Because here the function it's like select pin element. So when it's on, you cannot uh, you cannot select the some object what you will pin. So what I mean? Uh, here the my panel. I will choose the panel and I will pin this panel. So I can on this pin this panel. Let's say I'll use some other thing, such as like this. I also cannot this pin this panel. Okay, doesn't matter. I will unpin this this thing. And now I can choose only my mullion, as you can see. So and when I am using the top key, you can see I can select only one grid line. So and let's delete some elements here inside. Uh, I needed to, to show you the other function of our of our curtain wall. So let's say it will be like this. So let's continue. Now I will select my. Um, my curtain wall and what we can do with this curtain wall or uh, else let's say your building or your room it's not a uh, square or it's not um, i don't know it's not like uh, a triangle or something uh, something right with the right angles uh, you can go to the profile and now you will see the profile of our curtain wall this is a uh, violet line. This means like this our uh, this our age uh, boundary of our curtain wall. So what does it mean? If I will change it, so I will draw right here. As you can see, I'm drawing in uh, in 3D. Yes, it's possible. You can do it. Uh, if I will do like this, you can see it right now. And after that, if I will say okay, this is finished. Uh, you will see. Uh, First thing, the Revit ask is saying to us like some panels uh, Revit was deleted because uh, we changed the age, I mean the boundary of our curtain wall. And if I will uh, unselect, you can see this is our now uh, boundary of the our curtain wall. So what we can do else, uh, if I will select this object and again I will go to the edit profile I will, for example, I will choose some cycle. You can see, you can find it here, right? So I will draw it right now, right here, and I'll say OK. And now you will see the hole inside our curtain wall. You can see it right now, here, right? So, uh, what the rules? Uh, this uh, uh, edit profile have the some rules. First, the rule: all your boundary should be closed. So you cannot make like this, for example, uh, for example, like this. As you can see, this uh, uh, lines it's not uh, it's not connected. If I will say OK, the Revit will say me to please close the loops. You can uh, you can see the uh, this uh, uh, these dots it's now uh, orange. So it means some problem we have here. So you should close it uh, by lines. And of course, you cannot create lines like this. So we will get the same problem, like uh, it's uh, it's not uh, able to create uh, your profile, your age here. So let's do as we want. But the other rules, you can create the close boundary inside the close boundary. So here the one close boundary and inside other one close boundary. 
And of course, you can create one more close boundary inside other close boundary and like inception, you can go deep and deep and deep. So let's say OK and you will see the result right now. Now, uh, Ray is saying to us like uh, you change the boundary and some elements I will delete. You can see it here. Uh, can't create some wall mullions, blah, 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 delete the elements. So I will delete these elements and here we are. This is what I want. Actually, uh, not what I want, but what I get actually. So uh, let's say you creating your boundary and in one moment you understand you want to go back, totally go back. You want to uh, get your uh, started, your uh, first uh, uh, shape, I mean your first shape of your curtain wall so you can do it just select your curtain wall and here you will find reset profile so it means uh, Revit will back to the previous profile so let's do it and now Revit again saying to us uh, I will delete some uh, mullions because uh, now it's not uh, not uh, we we don't have any reason to keep it. Yes, it is. You cannot see. You can see here it's uh, not anymore the cycle and here not anymore the some uh, slope. So we will delete it. And here we are. This is our previous or first modification of the our curtain wall. So the same pre this is same principle like the wall. If I will choose the wall, I also have here the edit profile and here the almost same thing. So we also should uh, have some close the boundary and only after that Revit will create uh, for you like like this slope. So this is a uh, last function. Uh, actually, it's not last function. I will say this is uh, a last function uh, for the basic uh, about the curtain wall. And now we will see the other function uh, about other one curtain wall. We called it curtain system. It's almost same like curtain wall, but this thing have much more function than curtain wall. Uh, let's switch to curtain system. So uh, maybe you will ask what the difference between the curtain wall and system uh, curtain wall. Let's call it system and curtain. So this is will be different system. This is a curtain system wall and uh, curtain. This is just uh, uh, basic uh, curtain wall. Okay. So what different with the between system and curtain? Uh, the different is uh, when you creating the curtain wall. This means like you will create only in uh, in flat. When you are creating the curtain uh, system or system, you can create uh, it uh, like, uh, let's say, like bionic form or uh, to much understand like Zaha Hadid's uh, the architecture. So this will be like um, uh, some nature forms, you know. So let's say I'll show you. Uh, we will go, for example, for, for this one, we will go to the mess inside. Uh, we will show the mess and I will create mess in place. Uh, okay, so here we are. Uh, let's go to create and I will create some form. Let's say I'll do here. I don't know. Um, let's say I'll make here the some something like this. Okay, and now I will go to the uh, level two and I will create something like this. Okay, so this is it's level two, but it doesn't look like level two anyway. Uh, now I will go to the some east view because I cannot see properly what's going on here. Where is my? Aha, uh -huh, here is this. Here this line. Okay. Okay, awesome. And now I will create one more level. Let's create the level. Uh, right now I cannot create level. I will say okay, and I will create level somewhere here. Okay. Awesome. And now let's go back to 3D. So and uh, I will go back to the this mess in place and I'll change the level. Uh, I'll delete. Ah, yeah, I can change the level level to three. Yes, this better. Now I will go to the top because I, I want to create some form, you know. OK, so something like this. So this one and this one create the form. As you can see, I get some form. Uh, pretty simple form, but anyway, uh, we can create now curtain system by this form. Uh, let's say OK. Let's say OK. I will select this form and I will do the, um, for example, mass floors, all the floors, and I'll say OK. So, good. 
uh, let's go back to the messing site and here you will find the curtain system actually uh, you will find curtain system also in architecture if you will go to architecture you will find here the curtain system too so this is totally same command so if you will use that one or you will go to the mason site you will use that one this is almost same so let's uh, choose that uh, as you as you see i'm not showing you any function now because i want to show you the principle and uh, now revit asking us to choose some uh, faces of our mess i will choose this face just one for, for for now and here the curtain system create the curtain system let's say okay we will create the curtain system and as you can see we get our curtain system by our shape so if i will switch off my shape you can see now it's not ordinary uh, shape for the, our curtain system uh, let's make some uh, changes of that uh, everything inside uh, our edit type everything same as you can see also we you also here have the grid mullions by horizontal grid mullions by vertical you also have grid 2 grid 1 so everything same like i said in first uh, video about uh, uh, about the curtain wall so uh, let's change the space here for example uh, here 3000 so let's i'll change like 700 and now you will see we will uh, get our form more more better than was before right so you now feel like this is curve and you feel like this is just a line uh, as you understand these forms we are using only when we have uh, when we want to get some uh, not ordinary form right as i said uh, bionic form natural form organic form as you want uh, as you want call it Call it as it is. Okay, so and what we wh what we can do with this uh, curtain uh, with this curtain system? Uh, pretty same things. So let's go to the edit type, and here uh, you, we can, for example, change the curtain panels. Here are the curtain panels. Let's go inside the curtain panels, and for example, I will change for this type to the solid. Let's say okay. And now we don't have any uh, we don't have any uh, glaze uh, more. Now we have only solid panels. So, as I said, everything same like this one. Also we can create the mullions. We can create the mullions by the type. So it means you should choose your curtain wall after that you should go to the edit type and here you can change the mullions you can see it here right uh, grid one grid two so as i said uh if you didn't watch previous movie but you still want to watch this movie once still watch this movie i will show you the thing uh okay uh where is my pencil well here is my pencil i will be like teacher uh so this grid it's for that one it's for this one this grids and just on and on okay this one it's for that grids what's going around uh, i mean the horizontal one so and here the same principle don't forget about it okay so let's continue uh, and the other thing we can create the grids uh, also like uh, we did it um, uh, we did it before manually i mean so you should go to the mullion you will find the mullion you will find here for example a uh, by line by segment so by line you know we just creating the grids by line i mean the mullion and by segment we just creating only one segment and all the grids we just creating everywhere where we want where we can actually just few seconds and now we have everywhere our mullion so this is really cool what we have also the uh, same with the previous one we have the grid curtain grid so we also can create some uh, additional curtain grid here yes this possible so it means you will uh, get more customized things here than uh, you have here uh, in the basic one what i'm saying you have the more customized you saying like uh, this is pretty same why it's uh, diff why you say it, uh, this is more uh, more useful because if you will go to the messing here and for example i will change the mess uh, let's go and change edit the mess and uh, let's say i want a bit extrude these things to um, i don't know 4000 why not like this i'll say okay and if i will back you can see nothing changed 
no, you're not right. It's it's changed. If I will if I will select now my um, curtain wall, you can see here two two new things. First, this is edit face, and second one it's uh, update to face. Uh, we will use now second thing. If I will update to face, the curtain uh, system will update up to our new face. Let's do it, and you will see the change. Just few seconds because now Revit calculating the new uh, new position, and as you can see, we changed our shape and our uh, curtain uh, grid uh, curtain uh, system also changed, uh, and that's why uh, that thing it's more useful uh, in some kind of projects. So of course you can uh, edit the some faces. So you created only one face, and after that you can add some more faces. Let's add like uh, let's add the all the faces, and I will recreate the system. Uh, it will take time, but anyway we will get something like this. So this is really cool because now you can uh, edit everything what you want. For example, I choose here the uh, curtain grid. After that, I will unpin it, and now I will can move, for example, here. Why not? So now you changing is local in lock in in I mean the uh, local changing changes you doing here. Uh, I think that's it for today. Uh, that's it for uh, this uh, type of the curtain system. Uh, in the next movie, uh, in the next lesson, I will show you how you can create some additional things uh, for the curtain system and curtain wall. What I mean, additional things, uh, such as, uh, for example, mullions, uh, such as like panels, uh, such as like uh, grids uh, and ventilation system. We will do it the next movie. Thank you for watching, guys, and see you next time. And that's it from today, thank you guys for watching, don't forget to subscribe my social media, leave some comments for this video and give some like and see you next time.